Да. Эти ребята не оживут за моей спиной? Не волнуйтесь. У экспонатов отсутствует блок питания. Ловлю на слове. Это я понимаю, Хоромы. Раз. Какой у нас там план-то? Вам приказано зачистить территорию выставочного комплекса из четырех этажей. Начинайте с любого. I recognize that voice. Let me ask you a question. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Sure, I know just the song. Time you learn about resolver, Danny. To take down Castillo, a guerrilla needs the right tool for the right job. Keep talking. It's a stealth operation. I got you covered. Taking out a high value target? I have just what you need. You wanna blow shit up? Juan Cortez at your service. the rooster. Hey, whatever you need to get the job. You see things others can't. Hear threats others don't. Fight when others won't. It's up to you to save Tokyo.
army here? Oh, the peacekeepers. Seriously riling up the bazaar folks. I'll proceed with caution. Are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure. Follow me. You won't get far without a biomarker. Without it, you don't know when you turn. <clears throat> Sorry about this. What? And sorry about what? Luis Torres. I've seen your future. Global Risk is dead of the weapon. Destiny chose me to save this world. And I will see it done. Blacklist, we make our own path. We protect our own. Can you protect me from fate? world. <laughs> 
will burn, all because of him. The ghost is here! Thing around here. There you are. our empire, turned heroes into queens and kings, and decimated our foes. Now our oaths are lost, forsaken. And you must face the monsters. Our sins have borne. This is a protein POV. Uh, well, let's see how good they are. <laughs> right off the bat, going yeah. for the so heat wave. So he's got the heat wave, right? Yep. So you see, you switch the vert. Stitzer. Stites. It's good to have Stitzer back. Or we call it, there's some nickname of Stitzy is kind of the, the, the people implementing the VO. They threw down a shield, covered the position. Yeah, I like that little peek technique. I haven't, I haven't personally done that to be honest. Yeah, I feel like I learned a lot by watching this pro team video actually, and how to play it. Like we watch them, we have regular weekly play tests with them. I don't play with them generally because they just they're so good, and we have we put our kind of better players up against them. Also noticed that player went straight for the power weapon that spawns on this map in Slayer, which is um, hard for me to use, if I'm being honest. <laughs> So you'll see, like, I mean, so you can see the friend foe. That's one of the obvious things you're looking at here. I know Sam was talking about it earlier. This is something that we've continued to kind of iterate and evolve, even beyond this build. I think this, oh, this might be our main build right now. Um, this power weapon spawns there. The skewer is, uh, it's satisfying as heck, but it's it's hard for me to use. I am, I am, I am worse at that gun than I am at the commando rifle, for sure. And when you hit a target, like, especially a vehicle, it's super satisfying. Spectating. We missed the move. Tried for it. Tried for it. Grenade. Successful. 
hard for us to hear in studio, but I, I believe there you'll hear some personal AI coming through. Yeah, you're hearing there's a few things. So we there's the Spartan chatter that we had in Halo 5 really just kind of brings the battlefield, gives a lot more like reaction feedback to what's going on in the game. But you'll hear this personal AI, and what we did with them is we replaced what was called Spartan Leader, our team leader. Um, and they are, it's just a more personal version of that, and they have a lot of personality, and so it lets you kind of swap around and kind of customize that feedback, and they give you a lot of low-level feedback, pull the power up. Yeah, I was just going to mention, you know, that's a different, a change, right? It doesn't activate on pickup anymore, you can hold on to it. Yeah, we think that'll bring a lot uh, in the long term, and allow us to do more things with power-ups than kind of just, you know, traditional kind of just quick stat kind of reflections, but having like, really a po the notion of power equipment in the game. One thing that we won't see from as in this point of view, I really love the visual language that you and the team have introduced. It's, it's very obvious when someone's pocketing a power up like that. You'll see a, a glowing trail yeah, behind like them. Like a contrail behind them. Yeah, that was a big thing is making sure we at least telegraph that information. That was, you know, making that switch, there was a lot of critical lenses on making sure that there was at least a readability to it in the gameplay. I mean, so now it's sort of that risk reward, right? Do I do I hold this and wait for that final Ну, чё там? Готово. <laughs> ну и пошли они нахрен. <laughs> Спасибо тебе. Ты многим сталкерам жизнь спас. Ну, давай, малюй картину маслом! Поэтому я ни в какие разборки и не лезу. Не хочу пулю поймать. Ну не знаю. Между аномалией и маслиной я уже лучше пулю выберу. hearing an old, wise-sounding voice, and we see a quiet, peaceful setting. This will make our game seem big and important. Now, something must break the serenity. Will this creature be in the game? Now, say goodbye to it forever. Suddenly, and for no reason, people running. These pointless slow-motion shots make everything seem cool and should bolster pre-sale numbers. That wah sound can mean only one thing. We must gaze over an epic shot of a world. And there should be lens flares. Now we see our hero. But only their silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design, or finished the story, or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished is the title.